Well, page 13 is your consolidated income statement. And again, it's divided amongst the governmental activities and the business type activities to come up with the total primary government. On the first column are your expenses for fiscal year 21. You had expenses of 10,817,000, which also include depreciation expense. In the governmental activities, you had 655,000 in depreciation expense and 864,000 in the business type activities for depreciation expense. Under program revenues, total charges for services were 4,815,000, and your operating grants and contributions were 664,000. In the middle of the page, on the far right column are your total general revenues, which were 7,045,000, which consists of property taxes of 4,140,000, sales taxes of 2,019,000, hotel motel taxes of 284,000, and franchise fees of 334,000. So when you, uh, Apply the expenses against the program revenues and the general revenues. The city had a surplus for the year of a million seven hundred thousand, and that concludes the presentation. I'll give it up to you. All. Any questions? And you said uh, one no, of your no, 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 no. Uh, one of the recommendations that you recommended for us is to reconcile monthly. Right. Right. So we don't reconcile monthly. No. Well, not the balance sheet. Okay. You have a the cash account, but there again, the, 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 there's there's some activity in that cash account that needs to be uh, uh, basically adjusted. So they need to do that on a monthly basis. Mr. Ray, are we doing that monthly now, or balance sheet? Uh, Jackie, you want to help out with the balance sheet part of it? I don't, know, um, I don't think we have. On the balance sheet, no, ma'am, we hadn't been. Um, Reconciling, I do reconcile the cash accounts, the bank accounts monthly, um, but that uh, reconciling to the balance sheet is now being done. As and of when? Um, as of this audit, this audit, now that we found it, it wasn't being done. So you're um, currently doing it now? Yes, ma'am. When did you start doing it? As whenever Mr. Carter. Oh, when was that? Um, I would say probably. Around April, we started looking at the balance sheet. But you started doing it in April. Yes, ma'am. Looking at the balance sheets and now making sure that the group that we are reconciling to that to make sure that we are ba balanced with our beginning balances. Council, this uh, I got a chance to spend a little time with Mr. Carter um, today, and I appreciate him coming and going a little bit in detail in that. And if you compare our budgets for the last three years, the findings page, which is roughly on page 51, is gonna be verbatim. And we've had we've had some issues with the internal control, which is just that, which is verifying our our, our, our general ledger account. And we've had we've had some problems and, and obviously the turnover in the office, and I'm not making excuses for that, but I think that we have you now we've got, you know, Jackie focused on that and to your point, that's one of the important things that she needs to do now. On the negative side, um, I don't know if it's official or not, but she had a helper who's leaving us going to the school. So, so, um, so anyway, that puts a lot more pressure on the things that she has to do. That being said, it is critical that we do that. And so um, we're on a track, I think, where, where these findings, and notice it's not a quali qualified report, right. which means we didn't get our hands slapped in any way. And if you read the letter that he's... Um, provided for you that just indicates that the city worked well with him. There was no real material differences. And of course, when the general ledger balance, and I asked him specifically, and you back me up on this, is that it wasn't that there was money missing or that there was fraudulent activity. It was just it was out of balance. And that was one of the things that additionally took him additional time in order to get that done. In that letter indicates there's a number of things that they found, they documented, please make these changes, you'll see that. Those were changes to bring us into a, into a good spot. So where where I believe we are today is in a good spot going forward um, with what what to do with our back with our with our audit. That being said, there's a few key components, and I don't know if you guys have had a chance to look at it. Um, um, you know, we are, we are blessed. We we basically have a 12 million dollar budget. Um, our debt service every year is about 1.4 million. That's what we use to pay debt on. And our outstanding debt is about 14 million. 
So to have debt equal to our income is not a bad thing. I mean, it, I wish we didn't have any, but it, but it, but again, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, our total assets are about 30 million, and our total liabilities again are about 14 or 15 million. So debt to, debt to equity is one to one again. Those ratios aren't bad. Um, the key component that I want us to think about today is our cash position. And y'all, we are we're we're blessed. We have some cash. If it were not for step and for ARP, we would be in the bottom. We, we would not have the money that we need. So as we consider our budget, you know, of course, it's a component of making sure our expenses are in line and then, and then getting our revenue where it needs to be. We have some things that we've got to do. We've got to put a water line in. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about streets, about infrastructure, so on and so forth. So as we get to that part of the budget, which we're going to talk a little bit about today, we'll address this. But um, I appreciate the time that Robert can get a chance to go over that. I feel pretty comfortable that I understand where we are today. And I'm, I'm willing to sit down with any one of you guys, for sure. I'd be happy to talk to Fred or to Jackie as well. But I appreciate this. I think we're in a good spot to start this spot, the spot to start from moving forward. Keep, so, just want to make sure that we point, point one thing out. And again, we are working on all these. But keep in mind, Council, that we were two audits behind when I got here. But, uh, since I've been here, which has only been three years, the process pushed out five audits. Five audits. Because of, again, the lack of, of reconciling even, even our bank statements, for that matter, um, when I first arrived here. So again, we know we have to work on this, but keep in mind that there was five audits that we did. We did four audits, which was the 18, 19, 20, 21 audit. We also did a forensic audit, so that's a total of five audits. And Mayor, um, the reason why I focus on um, consolidating and doing what they have told us, they told us this last year, okay? I understand we're behind. You came three years ago, I was here four years ago, mm -hmm. okay? When we came in, when I came back into the city council, we were behind two years. We we're behind in putting our, consolidating our bank statements three years. Okay? So the reason why I've always emphasized this, because I was part of a council where we, our deficit was very high. I mean, we were in positive. Very, very high. And we're going to get there again. But the way we're going to get there is that we've got to take advi the advice that is given to us. This advice was already given to us last year. Okay? I understand Ms. Jackie wasn't with us last year. However, it's only been one person since then. And our job as a city is to make sure that we follow this advice because we're gonna fall backwards. Yeah. And it's very, very crucial to do what they're advising us to do because they've been so adamant. I've worked with them for many, many, many years. I've worked with them when our when we were positive. When our last when Mr. Udesta left mm -hmm. and we we were in the green by a whole lot. I don't I don't want to say the number because I can't remember it, but our reserve was very high. And he left our reserve high twice under that. So we just want to be able to make sure whatever they tell us is that we really take it to heart and we really follow through with that because that's what's going to make our city successful. I think if we, and I'll, I'll commend the staff and under, them understanding at least this part about being, being fiscally responsible. Um, again, we recognize internal controls. But from a fiscal standpoint, as far as reserves, I don't think you see reserves this like this in several years. Mm -hmm. so, uh, yep. More so than, than and I, I'll, I'll let the, the auditor uh, maybe touch on that, but, but we're better, but we're, we're still not what we're doing. We, we've got a path forward. Yeah. Anybody else have any comments about the budget? Like anybody else ran? Okay. All right. Um, well, guys, with that, uh, we've got our motion and our second in place. Anything else? I'll call for a vote to approve and accept the uh, annual audit. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I motion passes unanimously. Robert, thank you very sure. much. Robert, I want to thank you for um, your service to us. Sure, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Did he say yes? Yeah, thank yes. You. yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, thank you. Um, for the record, we have at 6.20 a Zoom uh, council member, uh, Mr. Gondita, joined us. He is both visible and audible. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, moving on to item 6C. Discuss and consider appointing the finance director, uh, Jackie Zunica, to calculate ad valorem tax rate for 2022 2023.
This is an action item. I'll take a motion for a second, please. I have a motion by Councilwoman Hernandez. Have a second. A second by uh, Councilwoman Carol Lumpkins. Okay, at this point, we're going to turn over the floor to our finance director. Jackie, you have the floor. Okay. Are we on item C or D? The C. Okay. C. I don't see. Um, on this item, Council, I'm just asking you to um, consider appointing me to calculate the Alvarum tax rates for fiscal year 2022 and 2023. Um, what, what page are you on? Okay. Um, I don't have. I don't, think, I don't think it's a page number. I think we're going to know what tax is. It's just a request. I think it's it's all, just a request to. These, to these, are all these are all formalities that the legislature puts in front of us to have a person calculate the tax rate for us. In this case, the most qualified person is our finance director. And um, the finance director, prior to this calculated the past two years, I've, I've calculated tax rates quite a few times. So, uh, yeah. So this is to simply calculate, not approve, not uh, accept. So what you're saying you want to you calculate, calculate the tax rate? <laughs> what, you, what you'll find, what you'll Are you find. Are you saying you want to calculate them? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because uh, from what I got from Mr. Reyes, I think he said he he would well, prefer to calculate them. I help her out a little bit. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably not much help. But but approve. Credit, <laughs> <with> credit, <laughs> credit. <laughs> Right. So it's just Ms. to calculate, it's, yeah, it's not, I will vote on this because it's just a calculation, yes. Right. And she's got some good help, should she need it. Yes. All right, we do have a motion in the second line side. Is there any other questions? Seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. All right. Good. Moving on to item 6D, discuss and consider accepting the 2022 certified tax roll for the city of Pearsall. This is an action item. Motion in a second. We have a motion, motion by Councilwoman Hernandez. We have a second, please. Give me a second. It is I have a second by Councilwoman Palomontes. At this point, we'll turn the floor over to Mr. Ray. Jack, you want to just um, Jackie, This is in your packet. This is our certification of appraisal role from our appraisal district. Um, this is just um, to discuss and consider y'all's acceptance of this official role of our appraisal values for um, our city. Council, the, the, the key important one there is, is when you look on page 68, your taxable, total taxable values. That's how you derive uh, your values times your tax rate is going to give you whatever, you, whatever levy, tax levy you bring in for the year. We, we have not provided us a proposed tax rate but that is what you pay attention to. So 341 million, 680, is your taxable value. Mayor. Yeah, that's what I'm So is. this is for um, what the appraisal district has gone and appraised the homes at. Yes. This right. is not the city a proposed tax rate for mm -hmm. the city taxes. Tax base. No. This will be our base. This, this is taxes. just um, where we're getting our values from. Right. Okay, but this is not accepting any Tax increase or decrease? Oh, you already done that. No, what? I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no this, is just, this is just the base, which actually we're certifying what was provided. We're just certifying what they gave us. That's, you're saying that that's what you need. And if you want more detail, it's on page 70. Uh, you can look at that. It gives you all of your improvements, your land, your personal property. This is how they, this is how the appraisal district, in essence, derives at their, at their values. Um, and then the next page is the 22 uh, new exemptions and improvements. And you'll see the improvement market value. This is from, as of last year, the 2021, is 2.3 mil. So any new improvements you'll see on that separate page. I have no other questions or comments due that it's not with the city tax base. Anybody else have any comments or questions? Hearing none, okay, we have a motion in a second. Call for a vote. All in favor of certifying the tax rolls, please say aye. Aye. Aye, motion passes unanimously. All right, thank you very much. Um, the next item is item 6E. This is an action item to discuss and consider approval of the no new revenue tax rate and the voter approval tax rates for the city of Pearsall. This is an action item. Call for a motion in a second, please. No. Motion. Motion, motion yeah, by yeah, Councilwoman Hernandez, a second by Councilwoman um, Garza. 
All right, at this point, I'm going to turn the floor over to uh, city manager. I'll, 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 uh, this is so we're not confused at all. Here exactly. Uh, what you have, what you have, is the handout of the what we call the no new revenue tax rate and the voter approval tax rate. Again, just to be clear, this is not our proposed tax rate. There's, there, there are several tax rates that we have to calculate. Jackie's done uh, these two, which is again the no new revenue tax rate is basically. If we were to approve that tax rate, the 85 cents, the 85 cents to be in the one line, if we were to approve that, that would bring in the revenue from last year's tax rate if we multiply it times our values. Okay? Yes. Now, keep in mind that this year, the way this is calculated, this year what we did put in, and it's going to be a little confusing, but I'm trying to hang in with you, is one thing that we did add was the values or the deduction of values from our TIF, the tax income and finance reinvestment loan. All that plays into, into how these rates are set. So what happens is, is let's just, you say for instance, you have $341 million in value. We have, of that value, six, 16 million of it has to be taken out and that gets put into a separate fund. And that is just for the TIF. Uh, I still have to talk to the county about their participation. But the, our participation this year is about $120,000, give or take, of what we would put into the fund moving forward. And then as values start to increase in that area, that dollar amount would increase from year to year. But that value would increase in that Five area. Year. Right. So this year, it, it's $120,000. If if that were the case, if, if we decide to approve this 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 rate of 85 cents, keep in mind the current rate is 0.866, and then the voter approval tax rate is as high as we can go without having some sort of an election, or somebody call for an election, which is 0.880940. And so all we did is took, took the values, we did, we did some other calculations that were required to do, we get a worksheet that basically comes to us from the state, and we input our values based on what the present district gives us, and that's how we come to these two rates. So, Keep in mind, this is not our proposed rate. We will have a proposed rate next week. So it does tell on what uh, the manager is saying again. This is like the other things we approved. This sets the brackets. Yes. It just sets the brackets. We're not approving anything. Council on the okay. Yeah, I just see that because what we're at right now, we're at an 0.866 currently. The, the no new revenue tax would go down to 0.8513, right. right? So if we're at the 8.66, <coughs> house, that is average 61,000, right? And we propose a tax rate of 87, but now that house is no longer, this is what we just approved just a minute ago. From the appraisal district, we approved that they went in an increase to 66,000 per their appraisal status for the county. A home of 66,000 will go up $4,500 in taxes, okay? No, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, hold on. You're talking right there. We're talking to the. Hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, it's on the, the last page. No, this is this is me. This needs to be that. Those two those two pages there should not be in there. Okay. We, we're we're still dabbling with that. That's not going to be. No. Yeah, because that's what I'm reading. Is that that you're looking at a four thousand no. increase yearly? No, that is not. So it shouldn't be here. No, that those last two pages should not because again. Part of what we need to do, and again, this is my mistake for not checking this, is the other two sheets. But part of what we still need to figure out tonight, preferably, is any additional expenses that we need to apply to the budget or take out. So what I've heard yesterday, and I, oh, excuse me, last week, we talked about some shields for the police department, and we talked about some, any other projects or, or any other things that the city would like to see in the form of operating expenses. So that's what we need to, and I would, again, I, as I mentioned last week, I'd like to hear from the council to see what other expenses we may be missing, and then from there adjust the tax rate accordingly, because right now, I, you know, while we have a lot of the expenses, I don't have every expense. For instance, uh, as I mentioned last week, we took out, uh, one of the items we took out was $300,000 for street improvements. If I have to add that back in there, then I have to find ways to make those cuts. Or, or increase the tax, right? So yeah. I can't, I can't, I, I hate to at this point give you all a tax rate that I'm not sure is gonna meet what we need. And so 
Keep in mind that the debt service is not changing. If you look at the bottom of that page, that debt service or what we pay in debt is $1.297 million of debt out of our... Okay, the only thing that alarmed me was this page here. Yeah. So I did the calculations, I said there's no way our citizens would be okay with this. No, this is... Yeah, 66,000, I mean, everybody's home is average at 100. Yeah. No, 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 it's not moving up that much. No, the, the, the value itself is, is, is what that increase is for. So basically in 2021, it was, most people's properties were valued at, let's just do this. So if you, if you look at tax on average homestead, 